Hey, what's up you guys, Matthias Zamensky speaking. Today I want to talk about my second favorite tool, which is Smudge Tool. I love it because it's super versatile. I'm going to show you how to create those brushes and how to use them in your own works. Nothing makes me more annoying than the pack of brushes that I don't know how to use. It's supposed to be another one minute video, but I have quite a few smudge brushes and I don't really feel like making four parts about one thing. I'm adding timestamps in the description so you can skip straight to your desired brush. First one is a square pusher. You can use your own brush if you have one in this shape. If not, just create a shape with rectangular or marquee tool and apply brush preset, just like we did in the last grass tutorial. The only thing you need to change now is to set the spacing on 3% in the brush panel and the smudge strength on 100%. I use this brush to pushing and pulling shapes on canvas or changing the design of things quickly when I feel too lazy to use lasso and transform. It can also create those cool artifacts that you can use later to enhance your painting. Draw a bush-like shape and once again define the brush preset. This time turn off the spacing and set the smudge strength to around 30%. The reason we set it to 30% is that we will use this brush to fade or smooth edges or shapes. I usually use it for clouds to make them soft and puffy. Also, since it has an empty spaces between branches, it leaves this amazing watercolor texture if you drag it quickly. Start by drawing dots on your canvas. Try to make them with random spacing, shapes and size. And guess what? Define brush preset again. With this one there is a bit more of fuss when it comes to settings, so they should appear on the screen right now. The purpose of this brush is to mix colors and fade edges with the nice grainy textures. The trick is to use smudge strength to your advantage. The more you increase it, the more texture and mixing will appear on the canvas. And finally the last one. Start with something that looks like a branch. And you basically need to destroy the quality of this image and make a brush out of it. By setting the roundness on 7%, you'll get this rich texture quality of this tool. It's a bit similar effect you will get when you are painting with oils and you are using rag or palette knife to smudge the surface of your painting. And that's about it. Here is a little comparison of all the brushes we create today on a simple sphere. I really feel like it's great to not only use only the custom brushes, but also the other tools that Photoshop has offered. What do you think? What are your ways of using smudge brush in your works? Comment below and share your experience with people out there who want to grow too. I hope you find this useful. I forget mention last time, but if you use some of my brushes in your own painting, tag me on Instagram or Twitter cause I would love to see what you come up with. If you still don't feel ready to make your own version of these brushes, or you simply want to support my effort, you can check out my Gumroad page, link in the description.